Hello and welcome to our seventh video on our series of angles. I'm Mr. Chowdhury and today we're going to be looking at corresponding angles. If you haven't already, I suggest you go and watch our video on co-interior angles and opposite angles before you come and watch this one. So here's your first task. Your first task is to draw a set of parallel lines and a transversal. Just a reminder, a transversal is a straight line that passes through at least two other lines. Straight line that passes through at least two other lines. Then measure the angles that I'm going to show you and tell me what you notice. So Here's my diagram. You're going to measure one interior angle and one exterior angle and make sure both of the angles are on the same side of the transversal. So I'll show you an example. So here's my parallel lines. The purple line is my transversal. The red are the angles I've measured and I got 50 for both of them. So this is where you pause the video, draw a similar diagram. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. You can draw it in a different orientation if you want. Measure the angles and tell me what you notice. Okay, just to show you the other angles you could have measured is this one. So for example, once again, I've got two angles on the same side of the transversal. One's interior to the parallel lines, one's exterior. And I've got these numbers, I've got 130 and 130. So compare your diagram to mine. What's the same, what's different? What do you notice? What if I had a diagram like this and I labeled the angles A and B? What would you notice? Pause the video and have another go. Maybe you could draw some more and check if your theory is correct. Okay, so let's have a look at what you should have noticed. Well, in my diagram, I would have noticed that A and B are equal, similar to my previous diagrams where I had 50 degrees and 50 degrees and 130 degrees and 130 degrees. And that's because of the following angle fact, that corresponding angles are equal. Corresponding angles are equal. And this is due to the following characteristics of corresponding angles. So angles are corresponding when the lines are parallel, both angles are on the same side of the transversal, and we have one interior and one exterior angle. Now let's look at our diagram and check if we've got all of these characteristics. Are the lines parallel? Well, yes, they are. They are denoted by these arrows that say, yep, these two black lines are parallel. Are the angles that we've measured on the same side as the transversal? Well, yes, they are. They're above the transversal. Both angles are above the transversal. And then do we have one interior angle and one exterior angle? Well, angle A is between the parallel lines Right, you can see it's in between the parallel lines, and angle B is outside of the parallel lines. It's on the right-hand side of this far black line. So it fits these characteristics, and that will work for any diagram if you're looking for corresponding angles. The corresponding angles are the ones that are on the same side of the transversal, ones inside the parallel lines, and ones outside the parallel lines. So let's have a look. We're going to play a little game called Are the Angles Equal? So here's our diagram. We can see that we have two parallel lines. We have a transversal. We have these two angles, a blue one and a pink one. They are on the same side of the transversal. They are on the same side of the transversal. One's interior, so the blue one is between the parallel lines. The pink one is outside the parallel lines. And they are corresponding. And because they are corresponding, we know that they are equal. What about this one? Pause the video. What do you think? Okay, so let's see which characteristics it does fit and which characteristics it doesn't fit. So do we have parallel lines? The answer is yes, we have two black parallel lines. Now, do we have the angles on the same side as the transversal? Well, no. One's on the left-hand side of the transversal and one's on the right-hand side. Of the, the blue one's on the left and the pink one's on the right. So these angles are not corresponding, so they are not equal. Right, we'll try another diagram. What about this one? Well, let's check if it fits our characteristics. So the first characteristic was the lines have to be parallel. Well, the lines look parallel, but there's no notation to tell us that they are parallel. So the lines aren't parallel. We cannot assume the lines are parallel unless we are given the notation to say that they are. So for this diagram, the lines aren't parallel. So these two angles would not be corresponding. So we cannot be sure if they are equal. We might measure them and find out, well, yes, they are equal, but that's not because of the angle fact. Remember, the angle fact only applies to parallel lines. These lines aren't parallel, so we cannot say the angles are corresponding. What about this one? Well, for this one, the angles are equal, but not because they are corresponding. The angles on this one are equal because they are opposite each other. 
So, and we know if we have two lines that intersect at one point, the opposite angles will be equal. So these two angles will definitely be equal, but not because of our corresponding angle rule. So here is your last one. Are the angles equal? Well, they're not. And this is why. If we think about this, we're going to apply a couple of angle facts that we've already learned. So the first angle fact we're going to apply is that angles on a straight line sum to 180. So this red angle and the blue angle will sum to 180. And then we can see that the red angle and the pink angle are corresponding. And we know they're corresponding because of the fo they follow the features. So we have parallel lines. The red angle and the pink angle are on the same side of the transversal. The red angle is interior to the parallel lines. The pink angle is exterior to the parallel lines. So we know that the red angle and the pink angle are equal. And because the blue angle and the red angle sum to 180, chances are the blue angle and the pink angle are not equal. The only way they would be equal is if they were both 90 degrees. So hopefully that's helped and you've understood the corresponding angles fact. The key things to remember are the following. Corresponding angles are corresponding. Angles are corresponding when they are on parallel lines. They are on the same side of the transversal and we have one interior and one exterior angle. You can take those facts and go and watch Mr. Amerson's video and try and do some questions. If you're feeling super confident and you want to practice them on your own, you can go on Dr. Frost and Corbin Maths. Hopefully this video has been helpful. Feel free to come back and watch it again if you forget something or you get stuck. Go off, be productive, and I'll see you in the next video.